What's up folks? I'm Matt McCann. Welcome to Mindset. In this video, I want to discuss chaining in board games. Uh, chaining is pretty self-explanatory. It's chain reactions. You take an action in a game, something else is triggered, something else is possibly triggered after that, and so on. It creates a dynamic board state and an exciting play experience, and it's one of my favorite mechanisms. So here are a few examples of chaining in board games. Okay, so in the Castles of Burgundy, we are using dice to direct our actions. So I'm going to take this six, and I'm going to use it to place this town hall on the six up here in my duchy. Now that is going to allow me to play any other hex tile that I want. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to pick between these hex tiles. I'm going to choose my castle because I have an adjacent space up here. And that's going to allow me to take any other action that I choose. I'm going to use that third action to place this livestock tile down next to my other livestock tile. So when I play these the first time, I got three points because there's three cows on there. But now that I play these two other two cows next to them and the livestock are the same type, I'm going to score for all of them and get five points for this. So this was a really, really good turn. I got these three tiles out and then... I was also able to score five points with the livestock. All right, so here we have a solo game of Viscounts of the West Kingdom in which I'm heavily pursuing the castle strategy. The castle is a chaining mechanism similar to the disease cubes in Pandemic, but where a group of three automatically triggers a chain. So I'm going to take my Viscount, I'm going to move him next to the castle, and then I'm going to use the three fleur de -lis icons that I have in play to add two workers to the castle, creating a group of three. So when I have a group of three, I then will move one up, trigger the bonus on that space. In this case, I have a choice between one gold or moving another worker on the castle. Since I'm trying to chain a lot here, I'm gonna move another worker right over to here. Then you're gonna take the other two remaining workers that were in the first tier, and you're gonna move them to the sides. So now, as you can see, I have two more groups of three, which are also going to chain. So I'm going to move this guy up, and then I can take any worker that I want, any townsfolk from the board that I want, or I can burn any card. So I'm going to take this guy because he looks good. I'm going to put him over my discard pile, and then I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to move them on over. So now I definitely have more than two here. So I'm gonna move one up, give myself two virtue, and then move two over to the sides again. So that ends the chain. I have no more groups of three. So everybody is done. So what this does is it automatically spreads everyone out evenly so that you're slowly moving to the center and getting more and more points with your workers. In this solo game of Terraforming Mars, I find myself one step away from two bonuses. In order to gain those bonuses, I'm going to play this very inexpensive event card, Local Heat Trapping, which is going to get me four plants. Adding these four will bring me up to 11. Since I'm playing as Eco Line, placing a greenery tile only costs seven plants. Placing the greenery tile over here not only raises the oxygen and my TR one step, but it'll give me a bonus of one plant and one titanium. Oxygen goes up, which boosts my TR, and at 8% will trigger a 2% rise in temperature. Going from negative 2 to 0 degrees Celsius boosts my TR one more step and allows me to place an ocean tile. Placing it here, I'll get two more plants, bringing me from five to seven, and boost my TR one step. And spending my remaining seven plants, I can get myself another greenery tile and a bonus of a titanium. So there's just a few examples of chaining in games. This is a mechanism that I really, really love. 
and many games do it in many different ways. What do you think? Leave it in the comments down below. Do you like chaining games? Do you have a favorite chaining game? And is there another mechanism that you would like to see me cover on this channel? Folks, I really, really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Have a great week and remember to have fun.